So this is you. This is a snapshot of what's going on right now inside every cell of your body. It's what's happening to your lunch. So if you look at this, especially if you, you were a biochemistry student or you're studying for it now as a, as a student, you're probably asking yourself, why? Why, why is this so complicated? Uh, and the answer is actually rather elegant. So the body has to create very important compounds that it doesn't find in nature right now. So an example of this would be uh, acetyl-CoA. Acetyl-CoA is a neurotransmitter and is also, well, it's, it's a precursor to a neurotransmitter, and it's also important in a dozen other reactions. Now, the body cannot find this by itself in nature, so it has to, it, it has to create it. So single-celled organisms, and then later multi-celled organisms like us, have evolved incredibly complex and elegant pathways to make these compounds. So now you're looking at this and you say, okay, why? Why, why is this important? Well, now scientists have found ways of taking advantage of what nature has already evolved and use it for new, new uses. So that's where synthetic biology comes in. Synthetic biology is using genes as a programming language, inserting them in cells and having them act as like tiny machines to create high value products. So what's an example of this? So uh, a, perfect, a perfect example is algae. It's relatively simple compared to us. And it has, as you can see here, these little green cylinders that are chloroplasts. So chloroplasts, as many of you probably know, they convert solar energy into chemical energy. So synthetic biologists have been taking that and using it to create interesting products. So one example of this is carbon dioxide. As we all know, carbon dioxide is uh, an increasing issue in global warming and many other phenomenon. By engineering algae, we can use solar energy to convert carbon dioxide into butanol, which is a fuel substitute. So synthetic biology lets us close the gap and make a truly sustainable technology by re-harnessing the products of combustion. So what are some of the major problems affecting us in the 21st century? I've already mentioned fuel, that's obvious, energy. There's also hunger, health, and sustainability. So in the health sphere, synthetic biology methods have allowed us to create artemisinin in cheap and large quantities. So artemisinin is an antimalarial drug that until recently you could only get by extracting it from a plant. So it was an incredibly expensive process and meant that the drugs for malarial patients were very expensive and hard to get to them. So synthetic biology has already answered one, of the, one question in terms of artemisinin. Now in terms of healthier crops, I don't mean uh, GMOs, I mean normal crops with synthetic organisms that have been created to protect those crops from parasites. So coexisting synergistically with crops. Algae biofuels I already mentioned, there's a lot of variants of this, it's a very big space. And the beauty is it can be engineered, all of these can be engineered to be inherently sustainable. That's the power of synthetic biology. So now I want to get a little bit deeper into what we mean. How, how does this happen? Why is this so new? So it's really the marriage of biology and engineering, specifically three major tenets of engineering. So the standardization of parts, modeling, and testing. So before that, I want to give a testament to the power of engineering that we already have. This is the Burj Khalifa. So it's the tallest building. This is in Dubai. It's one of the tallest buildings or the tallest building on the planet. It's about two and a half times the Empire State Building. So it gives you an idea. This is, it's immense. And engineering principles are what allow us to do this. So similarly, in, stand, in uh, synthetic biology, instead of nuts and bolts, we have chunks of DNA. So the chunks of DNA, essentially, you can pop in and out standardized chunks of DNA and reuse sequences for different purposes. So we've standardized DNA. And this is a huge, a huge undertaking. Next, instead of blueprints, we have advanced computer simulations. So this is an area that's still very much in growth, and it's going to redefine how we design biological organisms. And then finally, instead of airplanes and wind tunnels, we have test tubes. So we can rapidly prototype. And rapidly prototyping is another big part of testing and iterating and getting this right. So now, I've just told you a little bit, of a hint of what, what, could, be, how, what could happen. But this is, uh, this is Vincent Caibo's floating buildings. This is some of the possibilities that are really out there. So imagine New York City, uh, if it's complicated now, imagine 60, 60 foot or 600 feet of uh, floating buildings. Uh, it's, it's crazy. So um, another, another huge area that's going to explode is personalized medicine. So synthetic biology finally allows us, or at least opens the window, to creating vaccines and therapies for your genetic material specifically, and doing it in a cheap and cost-effective manner. So this could redefine how drugs are created and delivered. Um, my, so my startup, Mana Health, we're working in health IT, and that's another area that's really exploding right now. And where they meet in the future 
is really literally going to redefine how we cons what we consider medicine and how we, how we treat our, our health. So finally, I want to leave you with this thought. This is a picture, an artist's depiction, of what Mars would look like with an atmosphere, with oceans, and with an, an ecosystem. So it looks a lot like Earth. Uh, so it's, it's pretty amazing. The technology that we're starting to play with right now, it's of course not quite there yet, but the, just scaling it is what's necessary. The seeds of this technology already exist. So as alumni, as fellow alumni, I want to challenge you to think and ask ourselves, how can we continue supporting our institution in these incredible innovations and in this incredible progress so that we can transform our world and create entire new ones? Thank you. <laughs>